Hey everyone! So I'll be making a maid costume for a Chainsaw Man themed photo shoot that we're doing at Dreamscapes here in Utah in the Salt Lake City area. Uh, a group of cosplayers, including myself, are each doing a character from Chainsaw Man and we're making or buying a maid outfit that we find most similar to them uh, and doing a photo shoot with that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's actually my first group cosplay I've ever, ever, ever been a part of. So it's super exciting for me. Although I was hoping my first one would be a Sailor Moon one. I do not mind Chainsaw Man either. Or Love Live. Spoiler alert, skip like 20 seconds if you don't want a spoiler. Uh, you know, the bomb devil. <laughs> so, so I'll be cosplaying Rees. Uh, if you don't know what she looks like, this is what she looks like. I'd, I'm gonna try not to spoil anything in this. I don't know if she'll even come in in season one because there's there's it's like episode nine right now, so I highly doubt she'll come into season one. I think she'll definitely be a season two character. Um, either way, I'm sure a lot of manga readers know who she is, and the manga reader group for Chainsaw Man is huge because I remember going to Anime New York City last year before an anime. I don't, I, th I don't even think it was announced yet, really, or it wasn't at least widely known and there were so many like power and makima cosplayers but Reese is really cool we'll just leave it at that i won't get too into her character don't want to spoil anything for anyone we'll just look at this objectively for now all i can do i'm gonna kind of see what i have lying around material wise uh black friday would be the next time i could shop so it'll probably all start on saturday right now it's wednesday um yeah <laughs> okay the pattern came really it gets dark at like five o'clock now or I think it's like 4 40 right now and it's pretty dark so I will be using this light a ton pattern it came in today uh, today is actually Black Friday so I'm avoiding going to the stores though so I'm just going to be cutting the pattern and then tomorrow morning we can go to the store and see if there's anything we need uh, I also do have fabric here though so I'm gonna see what I actually need. I think my light needs to be charged. Small, oh I guess there's a huge difference between small and medium so I think I'm just gonna go small and cut a little bit extra um because there's a few inches difference in the waist so I would be a small in this. Okay, I cut all the pieces, now I'm going to sort them out between the apron pieces and the dress pieces. Okay, since I want this dress to be blue, dark blue optimally, um, I'm going to see how much leftover Eileen fabric I have, kind of lay everything out on it, see if it's enough. If it's not, then we'll just go get more tomorrow. Alright, so I decided to go to Joanne's even though it's Black Friday and it, it was very busy and chaotic and I'm now very tired and need to play video games for a while and take some alone time, but... I don't know why I went with this fabric, but it is, it is so glittery. It was it was a totally Kali decision, and not at all really the character, but, but hey, it's a maid costume, right? Like, why not? I'm gonna be, like, shedding glitter for weeks. Um, pretty and then I also got white glittery fabric for the apron and then some thread and buttons pretty morning so let's get to work I cut all the fabric for the main shimmery purple dress. I'm obsessed with how sparkly it is. I love it so much. Okay, but now I'm gonna do all the markings, like where I'm putting the darts and like all of that stuff. And then 
we can actually get to sewing. I feel like the cutting, the marking, the all, all of that takes like longer than the sewing part too. Like I've been doing this for the past two hours. <laughs> ruffly pattern on top of the shirt um, I think it's really for if you want to make it look like there's another shirt underneath but I'm gonna use the same fabric because I think that would just look cute so I basically am going to take this piece and add some pleats it'll be interesting <laughs> okay these are done now it said to top stitch them, which I thought was a little weird, but it actually looks quite nice on this fabric in particular. I think if it were any other fabric, like a more plain one, it would not look nearly as good. Okay, I have... Oh, I do not want some manual. I have the majority of the bodice done. So here is... I don't know if you guys can really see it obviously I'm not putting it on yet. And I still have to go and clean up all these edges on the inside. Okay, also really quickly, because I actually have to play Dungeons and Dragons tonight, so I won't have a lot of time to keep doing this. Um, I put together all the pieces of the skirt. So, so now it actually fits my waist. Um, but also there'll be some like tension added and stuff to make it nice and, nice and twirly. This is where I left off yesterday with this dress, and now I'm going to be adding some interfacing. So sparky. Um, and I have interfacing still in the Joann's bag. I should probably unpack this um, for the collar. And I have the collar piece cut right here. I just was leaving it attached to the pattern until absolutely necessary to cut interfacing. I've actually never done a collar, so let's let's try this. It's it's a first for me. Okay, so now I'm attaching the interfacing to the regular fabric to add some stiffening to it so I can get the stiff collar kind of kind of look. If you guys don't mind the tidbits of information, some people use my videos as tutorials. Um, some people just watch them as vlogs. So I try to add in some tutorial aspects even though I'm still learning a lot too. <laughs> lunch sew on the skirt. So now I'm going to install a invisible zipper in it. I just went to the dentist today and I had cavities filled so this half of my mouth is not moving. <laughs> hope it's not too weird. <laughs> okay the dress is done. The base dress. Yes there's a lot of loose threads to cut. It's not my cleanest work but it was done in two days. Can't blame me. There's the zipper. It's an invisible zipper, or not so invisible. <laughs> I don't think it looks too bad though for being made in two days. Um, I am now going to start cutting the fabric for, please focus, for the apron. I have all the pieces cut out here, and I'm just going to pull out my white fabric and get started. Actually, wait, I gotta hem this. I'll hem this after I do the apron. <laughs> I can start to feel my mouth again. It's moving a little bit more than earlier, but I gotta show you guys. It is snowing out and it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at 
け。So I put my fabric on these cardboard things so then Klaus would stop doing this. Look at him, he tore this one off the shelf and he is now shredding it up. Alright, I haven't really talked in a bit, my apologies. But this has been my first full week back at work since Anime New York City and then last week was Thanksgiving. So it was quite exhausting on me. And yesterday I sewed the frill for the bottom of the apron. I just need to attach it to the apron. And then like finishing touches and making a ribbon for the neck. Um, and that'll be, that, that'll be it. Yeah. <laughs> the caffeine's starting to kick in a bit. Look at all these pins going all the way around. So now I'm going to sew this all on. And see the little flounce at the end of the skirt. And then I'm gonna add some flounce to the sleeves too once I adjust them properly. Cause I want them a little bit tighter. Cause I think this was meant for someone with a little bit larger of a chest. <laughs> okay, I sewed some of this little flouncy stuff onto the sleeves up here. I tightened these so they, they look loose on the mannequin. They fit me really nicely. Um, and I added the flounce to the bottom here. I pressed everything. Uh, I still have to add a hem to his bottom. Also a fluffy petticoat would be very necessary <laughs> uh, because of the weight of the fabric. It just hangs down for the bow. Uh, and we get started on that and then the last step I'm gonna hem it because I'm gonna have to take this all off the mannequin and then I'll try it off. Okay, it's not necessarily gonna be a part of this vlog, but um, the only parts that need work, which I think I'm just gonna hand stitch in the morning, they're like very small details. In the back, there's this flap. I'm just gonna put a little snap right here so that stays up. And these keep slipping off. <laughs> So I'm going to do, I realized because it unties them back and the zippers in back, I can honestly just put these two pieces together. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put one little stitch right here, one little stitch right there, and that will just give enough force to basically like keep that up. Besides that though, I am really happy with the way that this turned out and I really don't want to take it off right now because I feel so cute in this. So you can see I need the stitching here. I keep having to adjust it. <laughs> I posted on my social media for the full cosplay. I'll be putting up a, a vlog of the photo shoot as well. But look how cute it is. A oh, bolt. You look like a little flower. That is so cute. <laughs> what are you doing? Bubba, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Alright, thank you everyone for watching. I will be back with a video in a few days, week, whenever it is. <laughs> but I really appreciate your support and I hope you enjoyed this. And stay tuned to my social media accounts and such for, for the photos of this photo shoot and all of that stuff. A photographer's taking the photos, so I, and I haven't worked with any, any of the photographers, so I don't know how it'll come out. So <laughs> I'll see you guys. Bye!